Hey everybody, this is Tanisha Hall, founder of In All Seriousness and creator of Him and the Game, and I am in the studio with Jay Halim. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay Halim, and I'm back in the studio. Listen, y'all know I'm trying to do some really, really crazy things in here. Y'all haven't seen the studio like this for a while. Um, the last time we had something set up like this, shout out to the Morgans, they were in here with Magnum Brain, and now we have Miss Tanisha Hall in here with the Hillman Game. Now, how many of my '80s babies who grew up? And they started watching uh, A Different World, and y'all know about Hillman. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. She brought Hillman back to life right here in Columbia, South Carolina. Is that so? You know what I mean? had to go all the way to Virginia for it. She brought Hillman right back to life. First of all, Tanisha, thank you for coming to the show. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. When I saw you set this up at Converse Space. Yes. I was like, wow, I got to get you over here. I love the cre creativity. But again, I'm an 80s baby. Yes, me too. I grew up watching Bill Cosby, mm -hmm. you know, Cosby show to a different world. Yep. Uh, I used to like um, Kim. Yes. Yeah. Kim, Kim was my Kim girl. Was my, yeah. You know, there's a lot of people that say they like Kim. That I, I used to think it would be Whitley that everyone would love nah, Whitley. Nah, but there's nah. a lot of Whitley Kim had a nasty was, attitude. She did, but I, but I like that Whitley was. She was beautiful, she was herself. but she was she had a nasty attitude. She did, but you know, she was herself. You had to have a special, you know, type she of person. To, you know, she yeah. Right Dwayne had to really like, yeah, you mind, you know, that type of thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you know, this is our childhood mm -hmm. come to life. You know, so first thing I want to ask you, how is selling this to your kids? Oh my gosh. Um, they know anything about him they, and all they that? They know about it because when I was developing the game, I watched it all the time. Okay. And they caught reruns before, like, um, uh, I got family in New York. I'm from Brooklyn. Okay. So my kids went to uh, New York for some summers. Yeah. And they would go up there and be with their grandma. And grandma's watching reruns. Yeah. And they would catch glimpses of it that way. So they kind of had an inkling of it. <laughs> but they didn't know how serious it was until I was watching it every day. Like, yeah. binging. Yeah. And then sometimes they would say with me, sometimes they'd be like, <sighs> But they get it now. They can they can tell you some stuff now. <laughs> they can they can give you a run for your money. Well, that's that's you know good. That's when good television was good for mm -hmm. you. You learned something and things like that. So, what made you come up with the game? Well, I love board games. Okay. I love having um, family game nights, friend mm -hmm. friendly nights, card games. I just love it when people come together and we're you know facing each other at a table and we're just doing something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I've always loved board games. My favorite game before making this one was Clue. Yeah. So, I was about to ask you yeah. that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it was Clue. But in all the board games I loved, I noticed that there weren't a whole lot of characters that looked like me. Okay. Or characters that my people could identify with. Cool. So I wanted to start, I wanted to play games that had you know, yeah, yeah, that I could relate more to. So I made them. Yeah, <laughs> there wasn't um, any really out there. So you know, almost thirty years ago, this came out, mm -hmm. and um, you know, everybody around the world knows about it. They were around at that time, and of course, you watch the reruns. Mm -hmm. What was the uh, copyright situation like to be able to for you to use these characters and things like that? How did that work out for you? Well, I. Um, contacted these brothers that created the Martin Trivia game. Oh, okay. Um, and I had already purchased the game like two years before I contacted okay. them. So when I saw that they did it, I, I just, I reached out, sent them an email and I was like, hey, mm -hmm. I want to make war games. Can you tell me how you didn't get sued? And they, <laughs> and they told me um, to just look up trademark information. And I did. And the um, uh, cursor, Cursey Werner never did any trademarking because they never thought about merchandising. Yeah. So it was, you know, Hillman's a fictional yeah, uh, institution. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The characters, exactly. there's no pictures that I'm using. I'm not using any any 
anything specific yeah. and everything else is trivia. And yeah. the game is not solely based on trivia. Great. So I didn't have to I didn't have to go through any. See that's education. <laughs> right? no, Research. You know, no, exactly. No, we I, I asked that question because people need to know. Mm -hmm. You know, because it might be something else like this someone wanna do and yep. they understand and y'all yep. get it right here first. Yep. <laughs> how to go about, you know, the proper way mm -hmm. so that you can do what you need to do and your business can actually get off the ground mm -hmm. and it's not stopped before you, you know, actually get started. And what I know is public now because um Jason Gray, the brother that told me, he actually did an interview with Charlemagne the God mm -hmm. where he's saying the same thing. Okay. So it's and I you know, why not share it? All right, Charlemagne, we need to get me <laughs> up there. We all come up there and we're gonna work that thing out. So now we're gonna get to you talking about how the game is played. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. How you go about playing this game and who should want to play this game? Oh my gosh. So I um of course fans of a different world, um HBCU students and mm. alumni. Wow. Um, I made it for black people okay. specifically, so black people should play it um, <laughs> that want to. And um, just people that want to get back in spaces with each other okay. without so much of the digital yeah. and social media and stuff like that. That's who should want to play. So to play the game is two to eight players and the uh, point of the game or the goal is to be the one with the most money at the end. You start at the season premiere, you end at the season finale, wow. um, uh, you roll the dice and you land on different spaces. I have a dollar sign space that's for salary, our space is for rent, the exclamation point is events, you pick up an event card, you read what it says, you follow directions. The question mark is trivia. I got a couple of spaces on there that's an ode to Denise Huxtable because, you know, she wasn't in the majority of the seasons, uh -huh. but she's a foundational character. Yes, you know, yes, if it wasn't yes. for the character Denise, we wouldn't have exactly. a helmet. So she's on there as well. Um, you pick your character. Everyone does not have the same amount of money. You can tell that by the ID cards that I have made for each yeah, character. Uh -huh. And the ID cards have the starting balance, the salary, how much you pay for rent. If you and your roommate, your show roommate, are playing at the same time, then your rent is reduced. So if you were Dwayne and I was Ron, uh -huh. we'd pay the reduced rate. Um, so that gives you a little bit of idea about, you know, uh, cohabitation yeah, and splitting yeah, up yeah, costs. Yeah, exactly. um, also, I chose not to give everyone the same amount because in the show, they were from different economic backgrounds. Yes, so, yes, so Whitley got all the money. Yeah, Whitley is one of the <laughs> higher, um, higher balance, but she yeah. does not get as much salary because she didn't work as much. And at, at one all. point in the show, she actually gets cut off yeah. and has to learn how to fend for herself. So that's why I didn't keep her as the... Top one, but it's amazing. Um, yeah, I have Hillman Bucks, and the Bucks have uh, photos of like Mr. Gaines, Mr. Gaines. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, Dean Barksdale, Dean Hughes, and stuff like wow. that. With the trivia, uh, if you land on that space, and if I'm the if I'm the one that lands on the trivia space, I would pick up a card. I would ask you a question like, which student from Jasper County, Texas, gets caught by Jaleesa and Walter with a girl under his bed? And then I'd read either A, Quincy. B, Quentin, or C, Quinn. You choose from one of these three cards, A, B, or C. You, I'd ask, okay, everyone, are you ready? You, what would you choose? This, oh, so this is the answer? Yes, the answer card. So, okay. are you, so you're going to say Quincy? Because that's A. I'm asking you like I'm really asking you. Oh, okay. So You're just going to say it's A. Let's just say it's A. Yeah, so, it's a. Yeah. so I would say, all right, correct answer is A because on the bottom of the card, I do have the answer. And if anyone wants to argue, yeah. I have the season and episode that you can find the wow. answer. But if you get it right, you get $5 from the bursar, which is the banker. Okay. And if you get it wrong, you got to pay me $5. So That's how that works. So basically, you're going to have people in the house, <laughs> yeah. right, with mm -hmm. the, the, the seasons mm -hmm. of, of a different world up. Queued up. Okay, <laughs> ready and for so battle. You get, if you get it wrong, you're going to pull it up. Yeah. Nah, 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 we're going to season five. That's exactly right now. why I did it. <laughs> Research. It's important. Like, <laughs> that's why I did it. I love it. it. I love it. And it I also it. prompts people to go back and look at it. Next I, thing you know, you're in the loop, and now it's a watch party. I Ooh, can something. see some arguments in the house <laughs> right now. People talking about, uh-uh, I'm going to show you why. Yeah. I'm going to say, get my Ooh. money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this is amazing. This Thank is you. an amazing invention. I, You know, it's funny. 
It just means it's a nostalgic moment thinking about our childhood watching this, mm-hmm. this along with, and not just black. We watch Saved by the Bell and those yeah, type oh of my gosh, yeah, that era, yeah, yeah that era mm-hmm. of great television for young people mm-hmm. at that time. Steve Urkel, and yeah. all those things, fam- yeah. Family Matters, Fam- Family Matters, you know, a Full House, Full House, mm-hmm. that's now Fuller House, yep. you know, things like that. And so to bring something like this back to life, knowing that the way the world is going, you know, saying, "I right, we really can bring back a family." Mm-hmm. This way. Yeah. You know, so are you prepared for, oh, uh, <laughs> you know, what's about to happen, you know? No. <laughs> but I'm learning to get there. Yeah, because, I mean, you're, you're going to awaken something. Mm-hmm. It started. With this, you it know? started. The moment I knew that, that it was real, I knew it was real for real. Yeah. When my kids saw it and they said, Mom, you made a game. Wow. And they remember my first prototype, and I still have it, is um, I, I have three children. So, mm-hmm. you know, school projects all the time. My husband and I are always having to get some cardboard or some Sharpies or some crayons or some tape or just something. And I'm naturally arts and crafts inclined. Like, mm-hmm. I love doing arts and crafts. So, my uh, kids had a leftover phone board. And it was after I decided I wanted to make a game. And I was like, man. How do I make a game right now? Like, I want it <laughs> right now. So I went, got the foam board, got some construction paper. I drawn out uh, spaces that had little TVs on it. Wow. Because I decided the name of my company was going to be called In All Series. And that's like TV series. Yeah, yeah. And I knew I didn't want to just do one game. So I was like, let's make them my TV show. I love it. And I drew it, and I put it in front, and I said, all right. Now what's next? And then, so they've seen it from the conception yeah. to it actually being something tangible in their hands. And they look at me like, wow. Yeah. And that's when I knew it was serious. Yeah. That's amazing. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, let me, I'm not the first, I'm sure, but let me congratulate you on camera. Thank but this you. This is an amazing situation that you have here. And I just see a whole lot more coming from this, you know, because the creativity, um, being somebody who's an innovator, because a lot of people are trying to do the same thing other people are doing. Mm-hmm. So being somebody that's an innovator, <clears throat> how does it feel? You know, when people when you get the response from other people and they're saying, "Hey, man, this was this this was cool." You know, what's the response been like? It's um oh the response from the game has been incredible. Um, from just me putting it out there, I've had people say to me. You know you didn't just do this for you, right? You yeah. know you did this for us. Like yeah, for that, whole, yeah, you did it for that, the culture. Man, literally. For the culture. And that was my yeah. point. So to have someone get it and actually say it, it, it was almost I didn't believe it. Wow. And um and this is just like, you know, just a person that has the same ability to wake up like I do mm-hmm. is saying, Yo, yeah, you did that. It feels really good, but I also feel like I have a responsibility. And it's not a heavy one that I'm like remorseful or regretful about. It's like, all right, let's go. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. I'm like, strap up. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Speaking it's kind of like gut nerves, but all right. <laughs> Speaking of that, what's next? Where, where, where we go next? With the, where we go next with the game? Oh my gosh. So right now the game is on pre-order on Indiegogo. I'm doing a pre-order mm-hmm. campaign in order to um, get the game out to people and grow the mm-hmm. company in all seriousness so I can make more games. And um, this is actually the standard. I have two versions. This is the standard that is a little um, lighter and stuff like that. So I'm just, I'm, the next step is to get the pre-orders ready, have uh, everything done by October, shipped out, sent to everyone, and I'm already working on the next game. But it's kind of like hush, hush. Yeah. I'm working on a couple of games. Right, you got, yeah, you got a lot going mm-hmm. on with this one. Yeah. You know? I'm promoting. I'm, I'm hosting open mics and game nights, fusing them together. Oh, okay. and, yes, I'm doing a lot more of that. So are you looking at and talking to, you know, financers and things like that to help you push this to the next level? Not, not necessarily. I haven't and it hasn't been because of a lack of access to them Mm -hmm. it's just been I want to make sure I have a handle on it first before I ask anyone um, because then that's when you get other opinions to come in and not that they're all bad Mm -hmm. but when it's something like this that I want to make sure has as much care as possible I have to have a foundation before I ask for any assistance that's a preach word I want to make sure I know what I'm asking for money for. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, or what someone wants to offer me money for. I want to make sure that I have a foundation. I feel like that's a fault with some startup companies is that they want to get it, get it, get it. But they don't have their 
their their setting right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I want to be ironclad that no, if people are watching me, yeah. I got to make sure that I am giving them the best example to my ability. Yeah. And yeah, ain't no half step. <laughs> <laughs> All of Brooklyn just came right. out. <laughs> ain't no half step. So again, let everybody know how they can pre-order the game and support what you got going on. This is amazing. So your website, you said talks about Indiegogo, mm -hmm. how to follow you on social media. Let everybody know how to Sure. Uh, I can be following on social media at Hillman the Game on Instagram, on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, in all seriousness. That's S-E-R-I-E-S, -E Ness. Um, you can find it through Helm in the Game as well on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And um, Indiegogo, if you type in Helm in the Game, the game will pop, pop right up. The pre-order is until March 21st. So as soon as you can, go ahead and uh, do that. Shout out. Share it. Get excited because it's excitable. And what's the price point? The know. standard is $44 because uh, Obama, 44 I'm serious. That's why I chose it. Forty-four, <laughs> and, and the deluxe is sixty dollars. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 So, innovative to the end, huh? Yeah, like absolutely. Said, Obama forty-four. Forty-four. <laughs> so yeah, yeah get. Now, and that's also the pre-order price. So yeah. Can you <laughs> just please let somebody know because somebody who has something that they want to birth mm -hmm. in them that they feel like they can't do it mm -hmm. or they've been hesitating, they've been grasping and some of that. Give them a word for us to say, you know, because you just said you started one day say, hey, I'm I'm going to mm -hmm. do it. Give them some word of encouragement. Okay. When it comes to creating things and you feel like there's too much camp competition or, it's apprehen or you feel apprehensive or you feel like you can't do it because you don't have it, start where you are, use what you can. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Don't go trying to be too much too fast take time and feel the the positivity that is the biggest thing when i made this game i had been unemployed i had lost the best job i thought i had and it wasn't until i felt worthy enough to own my own that i literally said okay i'm gonna do it i started imagining all the great possible things that could happen and one by one they started I had to feel it so yeah. feel it believe it it is yours absolutely absolutely what else y'all want me to say after that <laughs> absolutely what else y'all want me to say after that listen look at this game look at this this is this is a blessing I'm a cardboard right here. <laughs> and a phone board and, and construction paper like <laughs> for real to where it is now this is amazing <laughs> and um you know this is something that she created and then she created right here in Columbia right here. and we put it out here in the studio I told you we trying to keep everything exclusive mm -hmm. it's your boy Jay Haleen, Tanisha Hall at the Hillman Game Hillman the Game yeah in seriousness <laughs> all seriousness in all seriousness yep. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. No problem. Look, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And listen, follow her. Y'all know y'all see all that stuff on the screen right now. Follow her at all those social medias. Go to social, go there. Pre-order the game real fast. Mm -hmm. Talk to y'all soon.